yo! Beer review time, coming at you live once again from Daft Punk is playing at my house. My house! We'll show you the ropes, kids! Show you the ropes! Beer review time. Um, let's just get into it. Alright, so. Uh, shout out to my guy uh, Rio at Rehab. The guy's bringing in beers and then just hiding them on us, not letting us know about them. So the... Uh, it's too much of a story. But, amongst others, I picked up this... Beer Geek Breakfast Stout. Brewed with coffee. 7.5% alcohol by volume. McKellar. Uh, sorry, I'm getting notifications. Power through. Brewed and canned by McKellar, San Diego. San Diego, California. Also... Shout out to my guys Rod Quinton, Damian Kilroy, everything is Coracle. If you think there are other people at Coracle that I need to shout out, you are wrong. <laughs> Trying to get up that great big hill of ours. Staying on brand, McKellar Glass, McKellar Beer. For the destination. So if you're, uh, if you're following the channel religiously, and thank you if you are, um, we've, we've been on, with some interruptions, we've been on a bit of a string of bad beers. And we're sick of it. We want good beers. That smells fucking great. Generally, uh, there aren't a lot of coffee beers that I love. I'm, I, I'm, if I want a coffee, I want a coffee. If I want a beer, I want a beer. There are a few exceptions. And this one smells delightful. It's a coffee breakfast stout, 7.5%. We do one sip, we give a score of 0 through 10. We try one beer every day until we have tried them all. We have not tried them all yet. Spoiler. Spoiler. We have not tried them all yet. Let's see what we got. One sip, everybody knows the rules. I like it. It smells... So the, the, uh, we've got an Irish stout down there at Pastor Street. Shout out to the good people at Pastor Street Brewing Company. Shout out to the good people at, uh, McKellar. Gypsy Brewers. Um, some people think our Irish stout has coffee in it, because when you smell it, it's got that roasted malt, and it's, it's kind of smells like roast coffee. This smells a lot like coffee. It doesn't taste a ton like coffee, and that, for me, is a good thing. I don't want too much coffee flavor in my beer. It's there, it's noticeable, but it's not, it's, it's, a, it's, the beer is shining through. One sip, everybody knows the rules. It's good beer. At 7.5, probably not like an all day crusher, but it's a breakfast stout. <laughs> you could do a lot worse to start your day than having a McKellar breakfast stout. It's good. We like it. Oh. Calibrating my score. Um, as a... It, it's still a coffee beer. It's not going to get a massive score. It's not... Spoiler alert again. It's not in the nines, but it's, it's really nice. And pretty smooth for a 7.5% beer. I am definitely finishing this. It is a, uh, it is late night. Gotta go to work tomorrow. This is last one for the ditch. And then we're calling it quits. It's an 8.4. Maybe it's a little better than that, but you know what? Some people accuse me of being too generous on these, uh, beer reviews. I gotta be honest. It's a very, very good beer. Not really super up my alley as a style. But yeah, very good beer. If you're... I mean, what am I saying? You don't have to go to San Diego. Go to fucking Rehab Station. Rio. 
We'll talk. Go to Rehab Station if you like stouts, if you like dark beers. They're a little bit underserviced here in Saigon. The dark beers, the stouts. Shout out to my guy Steve Black. Steve, you like the dark beers? Go pick up a can of this. What did I say? 8.4? That's a review.